Hey YouTube, today I'll be making Chevrolet's salt, which is a very interesting salt of copper that has an unusual color and a very unusual property to it uh, that we'll talk about a little bit later. Now, um, this is actually very simple to make and it illustrates how cool uh, copper chemistry can be. Um, so all we need here is copper sulfate, which is on the left, a little crop of crystals that I have that's 2.4 grams. Uh, and the other ingredient is sodium metabisulfite, which is on the right, uh, and that's two grams of that. So now I need to dissolve both of these in uh, two water solutions. And before I dissolve the copper sulfate, I think I'm going to grind it down into a powder um, so it'll be a little bit quicker. All right, now the solutions I'm going to make are 25 milliliters of distilled water for the copper sulfate and 10 milliliters of distilled water for the sodium metabisulfite. And let's mix those up to dissolve them. All right, we've got things dissolved now and I'm going to transfer them into a large test tube. So first the copper sulfate solution. Uh, this test tube is a little dirty, but they're just carbon stains, so it's not going to really affect anything. And now we're going to add the solution of sodium metabisulfite. Now, uh, metabisulfite solutions um, smell very slightly of sulfur dioxide, so you may want to do this outside uh, if that is annoying to you. So here we go, we're just going to um, pour this into the solution. And you can see we get a, just a gorgeous color change to a beautiful emerald green. This is one of the things I like the most about copper chemistry is that there's just, the, the colors are so varied and you can do one experiment and see so many different things happening. So just, just gorgeous range of colors. So now to actually produce the Chevrolet salt, what we need to do is heat this, heat it to boiling for several minutes. So let's do that. Okay, I've got my butane burner here and we'll just hold the test tube over that uh, while it heats. And uh, the way to heat a test tube is to sort of move it in and out of the flame. You don't want to hold it in one place for too long because then you can um, overheat the test tube and you can get a flash boil and it'll spray out the end of the test tube, which is not a good thing. Uh, and also you want to keep the mouth of the test tube pointed away from you and anyone else again just in case it splatters out of it. You can see at the at the top of the liquid right now we're getting a little bit of a color change to happen. Looks like there's a crust of some material forming. There you go. You can see it now. It's really darkened a lot. Now, as we're boiling this solution, we're getting the Chevrolet salt to precipitate as a brick red uh, solid. Now, red colors are very rare for uh, copper compounds. There's really only one other one that I know of that is red, and that's copper one oxide. So you can see as we heat this, we get a very dense crystalline precipitate that falls right to the bottom of the test tube. So it's really easy to recover this in the end. So after boiling the solution in the test tube for several minutes, uh, you can see that almost all the color is gone from the solution and we've got a really nice looking uh, brick red crystalline precipitate uh, at the bottom there. So now um, what we need to do is take this and filter it off, which should be exceptionally easy because this, this stuff settles very, very quickly. So I've started to mix everything around and uh, like I said, now we'll just filter it. Uh, actually, um, when I was boiling this solution, I ended up taking it outside to do the majority of the boiling um, because it releases more sulfur dioxide as you're boiling it. So uh, I, I just you know wanted to be safe, uh, so I took that outside uh, to finish it. And uh, if you try this, I'd recommend you do the same for the entire procedure. Now here's my final uh, filtered and dried precipitate of Chevrolet salt. 
And now that you can see, it's a really gorgeous uh, brick red color, and it's a really nice crystalline precipitate, too. Um, so it filtered very, very easily. Now, the interesting thing about Chevrolet's salt is, first of all, it's red, which is very rare for, for copper compounds. I mean, just about all copper stuff is, is blue or green in color, uh, but this is red. And secondly, it's actually a mixed valence copper compound, which means it has copper in both the plus one and plus two oxidation states. Uh, so that's fairly rare for, for any compound, really. And it's interesting that, that something like that can be prepared so easily uh, from just a couple of relatively common ingredients. So now I'm going to try to show that it, this is indeed a mixed valence compound and has both copper 1 and copper 2 in it. Uh, so I put a small amount in a really tiny test tube, and I'm going to add to that dilute hydrochloric acid, and we'll see what happens. All right, I've let it settle for a few seconds, and now you can see at the bottom of the test tube, there's a very small amount of white precipitate. If I can get the camera to focus on it. There we go. So you've got a white precipitate. So that white precipitate uh, is copper one chloride. That happens when you have a copper one compound in dilute acid. It makes copper one chloride, which is almost insoluble in precipitates. Uh, a copper 2 compound would have dissolved completely and made a green solution of copper 2 chloride. So that demonstrates that this compound does, it does indeed include copper 1. Now to show that we can get copper 2 behavior from the same compound, uh, I'm going to do essentially the opposite of what I just did. Instead of adding a dilute acid, I'm going to add a strong base, uh, concentrated ammonia. So let's see what that does. You can see we get a really nice deep blue color. Now that color is the copper 2 complex with ammonia, um, hexaamine copper 2. There is a copper 1 complex with ammonia, but it's uh, supposedly colorless. So this shows that there's also uh, copper 2 atoms in this compound. So there you have it. A preparation of Chevrolet salt, a red copper compound that is a mixed valence sulfite, uh, starting with a blue solution and a colorless solution creating a green solution, and ending with a brick red precipitate. Really beautiful copper chemistry. Thanks for watching.